Hello and welcome to Concord Speedway. We are in the SK Modified Fixed series here and getting ready to do some qualifying. We've got a pretty good feel here on Monday night, a 3.1 strength of field and uh, some names we recognize like Tracy. We got uh, Mitchell Drunowski, Mitch, and uh, Chad as well in here um, for a 16 car field in total. Let me make sure I got this how I want it. Yeah, that's all good. And uh, we'll see what we can do for qualifying. Still learning how this thing works, like these modified cars. I uh, did a lot of experimentation and practice trying to get some speed out of it. And uh, we'll see how much we can, we can do here. Um, green flag, green flag. Hopefully okay, a reasonable lap. Track seems much faster than it was in practice, so that's interesting. That's a new fastest lap for blaming. One more lap. So we'll hit our fastest lap. Five. That's it. Fastest that's lap cool. Sanchez, fifteen point three. Three three three. I've seen guys in the twos though, so I kind of wish I did a little bit better, but it is what it is. All right. I think that's about as good as I could hope for. I, I probably could have like hit that a little bit better and gotten a better lap, but not going to try to get too much. Sixth place isn't all that bad, and a field full of people I'm sure that have run this car many more times than I have. That was a pretty good exit, the final corner there. We got ourselves a triangle raceway here in Concord. Kind of like a mini Pocono almost. Not really though, because the corners are very different, obviously. Not even just counting the size of the track, but like the uh, you know tunnel turn at Pocono is a much different beast than this like basically flat out corner here for turn two. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I, I just kind of want to make sure I have a, a clean race. This could get really tight. Um, these cars are wide, or at least they feel wide. That's how far the tires stick out and everything. And it feels like a narrow track. So, hopefully I can avoid running into anybody and anything or anything like that. Last I checked, we were still holding on to P6. That's the end of the session, P6. And that's where we will be. All right. Yeah, look at that, Tracy almost in the point ones. So I, I could have hit a faster lap, but hey, technically faster than the number two car here, so I guess I can take that for sure. Outside's not necessarily where I wanted to be, but that's where I am, so we'll make the most of it, I guess. Try to get to the inside when we can, because I don't think there's going to be much uh, to do outside of the... Preferred racing line, but I could be wrong. I don't know much about this car. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. Prepare the fast repair just in case we need it. Forty laps. That'll probably go by pretty quick. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, it's a clean race and we don't have to dodge anything. This is a place where. Rex can really clog up the racing surface. Maybe not quite as bad as a uh, South Boston or something, but this front stretch, especially right here, pretty narrow. Especially you got two of these cars perpendicular to the track and uh, no cautions in this series. That could get dangerous. So really hoping we don't see that happen. Can't remember what series I was in that uh, we had a huge pile up. I think it might have been Arca P6. at Front South Tempest. Boston when Arca went there. We had a track blocker. That was pretty messy. We need to follow car number 15 in the outside lane. Maybe outside lane won't be so bad. Maybe, you know, the inside will get stacked up or something, and we'll be glad that we uh, can move around on the outside, but I think most likely we're going to be wishing we could uh, get down to the bottom. The 
eight behind me has got me a little bit nervous. They got the uh, a lot of the warning signs going on. Hoping we can survive that. They've got a uh, C2.6 license. They're doing a lot of swerving, and they've got that. Uh, uh oh, six cars blinking out or something. Yeah, keep blinking all over the place. Oh my god. Green. Stay okay, that fixes itself here. Yikes, alright. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. The car inside. Still there. Still inside. All right, we're okay so far. Got to into our inside, but we're clear now. Right, that's what I was hoping for. Car inside. I thought you were way up the right Hey, that guy's oh, running yeah. into people. You're in the middle. Three guy wide. making it three wide. Thanks, man. Really cool of you. Two wide. Guy bounces Still off the wall. Inside. Can't be patient. Oh, we're, we're okay though. Still there, inside. Only reason he got to our inside is because we were checking up for a wreck. And now he's hitting my inside. Keep high. Based on our time. Clear. And he gets dumped, I think, by the by the guy behind him. We got sideways one way or another. So thankfully we've got some room. All of a sudden, we're not worried about that anymore. The captain Sanchez in front is now 1.2. That's the fastest lap. You've just we are in P7 at the moment, so we've moved back one spot since the start, which I guess isn't so bad considering uh, we got stuck on the outside. Let's see if we can make up anything. Get some good laps. Oh, uh, they're side by side up there. Oh, gotta watch for them. Make sure they uh, keep it clean. And I don't have to avoid anything. Oh, issue for that green car. Thick connection on this thick. Got space behind us, we pulled away from them a little bit. Yeah, good, good. Still fighting up there, it looks like. They just now got uh, single file again. Another slight issue for that green car, black and green. I think he's been clipping the apron a bit. Keep coming. We're reeling in this 14. A little bit at a time. Not sure how we're going to pass, though. We have to find a way to get to his inside, I guess. Pretty fun drive uh, here at Concord. Concord's a cool track. I like how unique it is. Having, a, uh, having some good fun. Driving it. Oh, a tiny bit of apron there. Gotta be careful. Car hasn't really changed handling wise yet, but that remains to be seen if it's going to get tight or anything, maybe even loose. All right, Colton, lap time's pretty consistent. Oh, I pushed a little bit. I was going to hit the wall if I stayed in the gas there. That wasn't very good. Pick the inside, going into three, Mitch. Are blinking up ahead. 
Hey, clear now, shall we? Car in front is Sanchez. I mean, uh, the car's getting a little tighter, maybe. I'm sure I'm not overdriving these exits. Still good behind us. I don't see anybody uh, catching up to us no, right now. No longer really gaining on anyone in front of us either, though. Oh, apron for the guy ahead. I got a little bit of it too, though. Not a great lap for me. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. The lap time was at 15.8. So he gets the apron in turn two there. He's having some issues getting his line down. Can we take advantage? Yeah, every lap now he's kind of clipping that apron. That was a 15 point out. Not too fast though, so I don't know if we're going to catch him either way. Might just be a seventh place car in this one. Went a little bit too far down low. You've just done a 15 point act. Yeah, we're getting a little closer. Every time I say I get a little closer, I feel like I lose it again. For the most part, looking like I'm just even with this guy. Got a couple things like driving in low, lower, a little harder, hitting the brakes a little harder. Go high. Nothing too successful yet, though. That lap traffic gonna have to watch out for. Hopefully we can get around this guy without too much trouble coming up. That lap time was 15.8. Very narrow here, so this could be tough. Outside. Outside, clear. Yeah, I'm just fine, though. Outside. Clear outside. Get to his inside there for a second. Wasn't really keen on diving it in though. That last lap was at 16.1. Uh oh, some Pretty sort good. of wreck. Lap car. No free spot for us. You've just done a 16.0. I figured you were going to get me a lane there. No mistakes really out of this 14 except for a couple of little wall hits, but that's been not been enough for us to try to take advantage. 
Well, that might have been a net hug. Only three laps to go. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh, man. I tried to get a good run on him, and I just I pushed out too wide. That probably wasn't good for the handling. Two laps left. I bet it says we got damage. Yeah. Well, we tried. I tried to get everything out of it, and unfortunately the wall just uh, snuck up on us. I don't think we are passing this guy anyway. White flag. One more to go. The lap time was at 15.9. Alright, that's it. Go high. Flow car down low. Go high. We will get P7. Seventh There's position. the flag. There's it's the over. Flag. Find our place to park. Good job. Very good job. Right, we'll go right here. All right, P7 could have been better, but still learning in this car. 91.90 for the tires, so not too much wear. And uh, interestingly, on the rear tire, so pretty much a mid-pack finish. Uh, we lose one spot from where we started, and uh, we'll see what else happened out here. Early on five, gets the apron, seven comes off the wall. I think that was the seven getting loose. Yeah, seven kind of like has a really bad angle on exit and then turns down into the five. And then us having to avoid it led to some issues and then we end up three wide. Eventually, uh, the six gets loose there, and we get that spot. Whoa, not sure where the ten's going. Huh, to the pits, I guess. Because, uh... He's up way up here, and then he turns all the way down into the middle of the track right in front of the thirteen. That was kind of weird. Is this where I hit the wall? Yeah, I hit the wall pretty good. It just shoved, and then... Put me in the wall, and thankfully, uh, not even a 2x, so we're good there. 11 getting loose on lap 38. That stinks for him. He's going to lose a handful of spots. And uh, that will do it. So we'll look at the results page. We're going to lose a little bit of I rating. But uh, we had a clean race, so that's cool. And here it is. The strength of field was pretty solid, 31-11. Here we are on 7th, losing 25 I rating, but still 109 championship points, so I'm okay with that. Um, you can see Tracy got the win and the fastest lap. Mr. Drunowski in 2nd. And the rest of your field, Chad gets 10th. He, it looks, sounds like he had a pretty good race with the 12, uh, judging by the little chat messages I saw. So that's cool. And, uh, you know, not too bad of a race. No big uh, track blockers. Which is good, and I was worried about that, but uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. All right, still room for me to improve, but uh, the only way I'm going to do that is by racing and finishing average. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. That will do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.